Jaguar write on. You guys even asked me a question about what percentage of what she says is uh, accurate. Yeah, if you, you remember said that. Not I remember. Very Can you much, play right? the clip? Of Pierce, is this the clip with Jaguar? Or is this the apology? Yes. So there's, I have both. I have Jaguar rights uh, accusations against Jay Z and Beyonce, and oh, then I have okay, Pierce Morgan. Do that. Go for it, Rob. Yeah. How, how many victims? There was none for her. How many? Mm-hmm. How many victims potentially do you think there could be? Thousands. Thousands. Wow. I've talked to hundreds that I deal with still myself. I have three victims right now who are willing to give testimony about not only what Mr. Carter has done to them, but his wife as well. Mr. Carter's who? They're Jay-Z. nasty Jay-Z. little people. Jay-Z. They do nasty things. What do you think happened with Kim? Keeping Paul? people against their will. Putting people on planes while they're unconscious, just like Aaliyah got on that plane unconscious there's a lot of things that people don't want to talk about pierce she about to do a fake okay but hold on but but adam but here's the thing and again it it always sounds crazy and wild until it ain't because and who knows she's not credible or lie detector test or whatever what if she's right what if all these things that she's seen because she's a dominator she said she used to work at these parties and tie guys up and whip them and everything like that's she was about that life. So when somebody that's about that life tells you about the life, you giving her a lot of credibility. I'm or? not. I'm not. But Adam, what? Where is she coming up with this stuff? She was at these places. She's seen it firsthand. I'm not denying. She was there. Here, if I listen, you can go play this clip. Yes. Okay, play okay. this clip. Then we'll react. Go ahead, Rob. The shocking allegations leveled at Sean Diddy Combs have burst the floodgates on salacious claims about an industry many people believe harbored a monster. Understandably, the Internet's ablaze with claims about these events and whether other powerful figures were involved too. Well, last week I interviewed Jaguar Wright, a singer-songwriter who's made claims about Diddy for years. Those claims had already received a lot of attention in the media across many platforms for many years. And that's the thing about platforms. The reality of the modern world is that pretty much everyone has a platform as long as they have something to say that other people want to hear. That's why we invited her on to be interviewed. The people making these claims have an audience with or without shows like mine. Well, Jay, you were right, unexpectedly made several serious allegations about Jay-Z and Beyonce during that interview. As I said in the moment, they were not present to respond or defend themselves. But now they have. Their lawyers contacted us to say that those claims were totally false and have no basis in fact. And we've therefore complied with the legal request to cut them from the original interview. Editing editing interviews is not something we do lightly at a show called Uncensored. Uh, But, like the proverbial cries of fire in a crowded theatre, there are legal limits on us too. And we apologise to Jay-Z and Beyonce. Okay, can I say one thing? Yeah. Two things can be true at once. Diddy could be an absolute dirtbag guilty of everything, but also Jaguar Wright could be looking for her 15 minutes of fame. Prior to this week, this month, have you ever heard of this person? I have. So, okay. I don't know. I don't know where parties you're at with no, that. Not part, no, not know. parties, but she's been in front of the camera for a I've while. I've never heard of her. Okay. I've been listening to hip hop since, you know, Beastie Boys did Brass Monkey in 86. Yeah. I've never heard of this person. She's now, if you type in Google, if you try, if you type in Jag, what's the first thing that pops up? I guarantee you it's her. Not the Jacksonville Jaguars or an actual Jaguar. She's the first thing that pops up. So she's she's utilizing this 15 minutes of fame, and there she is right there. Um, here's what I'll also say about Diddy. This was you know the most- what song she was in? No, Big Pimpin. You know what other song she Big was in? Big Pimpin, spending. You know what other song? Yeah, that's Jay Z. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You remember the movie uh, uh, with the Denzel, uh, American Gangster? Mm-hmm. While that one guy comes out with the song uh, "Heart of the City." Yeah. You know the Heart of the City. Yeah. Ain't no more. Uh, it was a, re- it was a, it was a remake, That's a remake of 80s. She's in it. Okay. She's in those she's two songs. She's a backup singer. She is. She's, she's yeah. a backup singer for no, no, Jay-Z in 2001. Okay. But yeah. she ain't Beyonce. She no, ain't no, Rihanna. She has been Jane around. Leo. She's been I'm around I'm not them. denying that yeah. she's yeah. been around it. She's like, they're yeah. interviewing her for a reason. Here's what I found the most interesting about Diddy overall. This was David Muir was actually, you know, he's the ABC guy, big news guy. He was interviewing, I guess, the guy that's handling a lot of the sexual allegations about Diddy and he's receiving a lot of phone calls. Here's the most interesting thing about these sexual allegations. Yeah, I I don't know if it was him or or a different lawyer, um, but it was on ABC. You can check that out. He goes, talk about a gender difference. It's so interesting about Diddy. He goes, prior 
to 2005, it was actually 50-50, these allegations that kept coming in, men and women. 50% men, 50% women. But how about this? After 2005, it was 90% men allegations. Something happened with Diddy, allegedly, where he went, this isn't it. But it went from 50-50 allegations, receiving these phone calls, receiving what's going on, doing all these sort of testimonies, to 90% men. When there's smoke, there's fire, Diddy. Yeah, and what's Ale- going on in that baby Alex oil? Spiro, Pat, was on uh, TMZ, and he said to those two guys, whatever their names are, I didn't send a cease and desist. I sent an ultimatum. Remove that false accusation, or a court is going to order you to. Who that, said this? That's uh, Alex, Alex uh, Spiro, right? That's it right there, Pat. You Talking play this? to you that somebody comes on uh, a show and then kind of levels these vague-ish allegations. Were you kind of ready for something like this to eventually happen? Listen, there's rumors and then there's nonsense, and this is one step further, right? This is a pointed and formal accusation of something, what was um, it? and um, I felt it needed to be responded to. So... I think somebody reported it was a cease and desist. It it wasn't that. It was uh, quite bluntly an ultimatum, which is remove that false accusation um, that's demonstrably false, um, or a court's going to order you to. And so uh, I think he made the wise choice and acted accordingly. He meaning what Piers Morgan. Yeah. Removing it and apologizing for it, yes. What changed here in my mind is that somebody on a so-called journalistic platform exploited that kind of random rumor mill whether it's disconnected from reality you can stop you. You. i mean i mean yeah. what I, i'm still trying to figure out she is just saying i've seen stuff i have three people that could come forward she crossed the line did she did, she like, crossed the line she's she, listen this is this is this is the problem and i've spoken to all of you guys here behind closed doors there is you know everything we talk about is who knows? We're not there. Second Maybe. Hand. That's why we have hats that sell that says allegedly, mm-hmm. yeah. right? You're not there to have witnessed it. There's a personal eyewitness. Then there's this. Okay. Last week, you guys asked me, what do you think about her, about what she's saying? And if you remember what I said is I that sometimes, you, how much credibility she you know, you tell a story and it does so well and you do three, four, five, six, eight interviews and then now you have to embell- you know, embellish and- yeah. Keep exaggerate yeah. to to keep getting people to want to invite you to their shows and you have to keep making the stories bigger and bigger and bigger she's crossed that line a long time ago mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. by the way um i give the gianni russo example remember yes. gianni yes, russo example course, when course, i said he was a Marilyn Marilyn Monroe. Monroe. He did this, 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 he did this and that. that no it's a little too much now by the way believe it or not people like her actually can hurt real people that actually went through real things. Mm. Those people are like, get her off the big screen. Mm-hmm. Why is she talking, right? She should not be talking because she's making the rest of us look bad, mm-hmm. okay? And I don't know. I I, I, I don't know. I, Spir- you know, what Alex is doing is he's just coming out and saying, hey, you crossed the line. And by the way, if, if he comes out and they decide to go after peers, which is what they're doing. Hey, take this down. It's not even a cease and desist. Yeah. Take this down or else the or course. Else. All right. Now, the question is, Tom, did Pierce do the right thing, taking it down? Well, it all depends on what that, that letter said. <clears throat> and sometimes to avoid things from being expensive. <clears throat> now, I, I think that... Um, did he do the right thing? I think he probably he made a business decision. Right. We don't need to reach into our pocket and pay a bunch of lawyers and end up in court. And what are we going to be doing in court? We're going to be defending, you know, our journalistic right or we're to be defending Jaguar. And we don't want to do that. We don't want to do either one of them. And so, but in his statement, he very carefully said at the time I pointed out these were big claims and that Jay-Z and Beyonce aren't here to defend themselves. Well, apparently that wasn't enough. The other side of it is you really got to be careful what you protest, right? What is Jay-Z and Beyonce protecting? Well, they're protecting their reputation. Yeah, but you're in the music industry. There's all this stuff going on right now. Do you just let all 
the BS fly or do you draw a line in it and say, I'm not going to be part of it? They got their lawyer to go draw a line and say, I'm not going to be part of it because there's all kinds of people saying all kinds of things. And so do you spend your day chasing every wild thing that is said while all these people and alleged victims and other people that are just trying to be opportunistic yeah, I, or saying stuff, do you run around and, and try to, do you know what I'm saying, Pat? You yeah, could end you up have playing like a mole. But you have a guest on that says it. You're not agreeing with it. Mm -hmm. And I, at the I, time I, he I, said, they're not here to defend themselves. But I don't know why he would take it down though. Why do you take it down? I didn't say it. She said it. The, the, there, this, there's a slippery slope here. Well, there I'm is. Not, he made a business decision which says that... Not comfortable with that. Yeah, th that's exactly right. It's yeah. like, <clears throat> we like Pierce. Pierce is a good guy. You guys are, are both on his program, way, but that doesn't shade our view here. Someone told him that this is what we're doing, and yeah. you, have to, you have to follow that lead. But there's a part of it, like if, if you say it, if you say it, you're held accountable, we'll apologize. Mm -hmm. If we say it. Yes. But if a guest says it, I don't know. Rob, Rob made a good point, Rob. Rob said, did, did Bill Gates or Reed Hoffman's attorney send letters to Elon or, or Tucker? They accused them of being on Epstein's Island and saying, oh my God, if he's going to expose them. I mean, the that's Trump's pretty Trump's lawyer sent emails and letters to CNN, MSNBC, mainstream, everybody? Yeah, see? Did they? I don't know. I don't think so. How many accusations since 2016? Oh, Russia yeah. collusion. Oh, man. Who sent those letters? You Who can send end those? up playing whack-a-mole to the no, end of no, time. No, I don't, I don't like point, this. Rob. Did you see what I, Pierce I Murray says? Like you know, this, yeah. on a show called Uncensored, <laughs> I mean, we kind of don't want to censor. Yeah. But then you saw the thing with yeah. Alan Greenspan that we showed. I'm not Alan Greenspan. Alan Dershowitz. Dershowitz. Alan Dershowitz. Sorry. Play that one as well, Rob. Yeah, about when he's, I think, arguing with... We didn't show that. We showed it. The jihadist guy, Mohammed Hijab. So they, this guy, yeah, because I mean, P Piers goes up against these, you know, the the guys that are pro Hamas and and uh, he, he always debates, you know, the Israel Palestine Show the clip situation. Rob. Like this to be is a civilized debate between no, two no, people. That's the intro, Rob. Go back. Yeah, go back to. Uh, there's one that's not an intro. Could, that could be it. Yeah. Here it is. He's gonna sue. Go him, for right? it. Yeah. Please, can I, I give you the facts? Yes, yeah, so you can the, respond. Let me give you the facts. Yeah. Okay, the facts are in 2005, I was there in Israel when the Israeli government- Are you sure you were not in Epstein's uh, house? Did you touch I've Virginia? I've written 13 Did you touch books her? on Israel. Did you touch Virginia? Some of which- Did have you been... touch her? Did you touch that woman? Never heard of her, never met her, never met Don't her. Don't lie. Never she- Don't lie to me. Just... Don't li Did you touch that woman or not? I I'm telling you, I never met her and she acknowledged ah, did you in touch writing, that under oath, did you that she may have you no knowledge of his case, do you? Oh, well, the United States just, occupied just Germany, quiet. Great just, Britain just occupied quiet. Germany. You can have be, a military occupation your as long your as there friend. is belligerency that continues. Your former friend Epstein, and be quiet for a second. Pretend I'm Epstein, your former friend, and be quiet and wow. listen to what I have to say, yeah? Please, can I give you the facts? Yes, you can. Let me, the no, that's There's not the one, one. he talks about. He basically call, he, what do you call one, him again? Just type in pervert. Pervert. Oh, pervert. <laughs> pervert. He goes, all right, now you've crossed the line and I have to sue you. Yeah, he, he goes defamation yeah, in, in court. Right Go ahead. Just call me a pervert. He will be sued now yeah, that's, uh, that's, for defamation, and defamation. we will be able it's to resolve it's this opinion. in, the in UK, a court we have of law. Uh, I guarantee laws. you that he will be sued and for my calling understanding, me a pervert. You are a pervert the woman who you are falsely with accused me Epstein. has now withdrawn sure, her accusation. I've got my own defamation case. I know the law very well here. That you she can't may have me. confused me with somebody else. And calling me a pervert will result in a defamation lawsuit in an American court and in a British court. I assure suits. you of that. He just called. I don't know. How does, I mean, first of all, how long did it take until he crossed his arms when he said, "Did you touch?" Quick. Him? Yeah. Quick. So, but 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 to me, okay, if he wants to sue him, I get that. Yeah, he wants to go because after him personally. He is suing him, the person that said but it. Why would he sue Pierce? Not the yeah. platform. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't understand. I'm that. very confused with this. To me. Then this is why, Rob, if you want to go to it, if you want to protect yes. yourself, get an allegedly sticker. I have to say this. Okay? <laughs> get an allegedly shirt. Okay, allegedly. go back, Rob. I even think we have an allegedly hat. If you go there, yeah, there's oh, allegedly stickers. Oh, I didn't stickers. see those. By the way, the allegedly hat it's is sick. sick. Yeah, you, yeah. I never even Although seen I, that. I really, yeah. I really like the description that we have. This is allegedly a black and white. <laughs> 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 but actually, it really is a hat. <laughs> Rob, put the link below for people to want to see it. You can just That's go to allegedly. I never even know we had it. the hat. Yeah. No, but, but the point is, I am uncomfortable with Pierce 
being forced to take something down for something his guest said. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. That's a little bit of a slippery. Yeah, because if you let me, if you let us argue and we go at it and we, you know, yell at each other, well, how is that on you? Isn't the whole premise that you have to at least push back? That's the whole premise. If you're going to have someone that makes shocking allegations and wild stories and just makes things up, if you sit there and go, he okay, okay. But I'm saying, isn't yeah, that, yeah. but Pat, isn't that the whole premise? You have to be like, well, how are you sure about that? If you push back, I, I don't guess even that's know, above guidelines. Because I don't know how you hold that with podcasters. Like there's guys that interview and they ask a question, and say nothing for 10 minutes. Yeah. It's a podcast. And you, you're going to hold that person accountable. It's a little weird. Well, this, well you know, the there's misinformation. I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give you a closing thought on this and, and we can move on. Precedents in law have long arms. And what happened to Fox with Dominion mm. has long arms, ladies and gentlemen. And there are producers. Pierce isn't going to write that check. There are producers and then there is a uh, a platform or a network that's carrying it. And they're all, I can imagine, a little gun shy. And how easy would it be, Pat, to do it this way? Pierce, you don't have to apologize personally, but you do have, let's do this, and let's do this, and then let's get rid of this. Why do we want to, you know, go to court and have a hearing over this? We're ending up defending Jaguar right. Let's not do that. Exactly. Why don't we do this? It, Just say something nice and say you're taking it down, but be, be sure, be sure that you commented the show is uncensored. And at the time yeah. I said, hey, Jay-Z and Beyonce are not here to defend themselves. And I think they just took kind of the chicken way out. But that precedent on Dominion versus Fox versus News Corp, it has long arms. And I believe you're seeing some of that here. Yeah. Well, long arm Stacey Ogman, Dominion, or whatever you want to call <laughs> <Stacey> it. <Ogman. laughs> The the I don't know. Man. Uh, Pat will give you references right. love out it. of I nowhere. Know. UNLV running rebels. I don't know about this. Election night. We're mm. putting the biggest party nationwide at a new property we just bought. If you haven't yet bought your tickets, get your tickets and come down. I wish I could tell you all the surprises we got that 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 night. We're gonna do grand opening. We're gonna do the whole what do you call it when it's uh, the 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 shovel the shovel with the breaking ground breaking ground. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna t reveal and show stuff we've never shown before, especially to some of you guys. I want to be super VIPs, to the super VIPs that want to network with other super VIPs. We're gonna treat you royally that night, okay? Rob, just play the clip on what's gonna be happening on election night for you to come and join us. Play this clip from the new building that we just got, um, just what a week and a half ago. Yep. I'm there every day. Dylan yesterday going 27 miles an hour in his car, oh. having a blast. But go ahead, Rob, play the clip. Okay, I got a big announcement to make. And the good news is you're the first to know and you'll be the first to be invited. So the property I'm on right now, we've been working on buying this property for the last three years. It's one of its last kind in America. Why? Uh, it's on 11 acres. It's got two hangars. It's on an airport. Upgrades of $7 million made here. That's going to be the new headquarters of Value Tayman, Manek, Ben David Consulting, the podcast, the whole nine. And what we wanted to do in a special way that you're going to hear about this two days before I announce it publicly on the PVD podcast, we want to find a way to celebrate this as a new headquarters with inviting you to an event on November 5th, which is election night. A lot of different things people will be talking about, business owners. What's going to happen if it goes this way? What's going to happen if it goes that way? So imagine 2,000 people being here. Let me show you around. Some of you will have a private meeting with me. That's the elite. That's going to be a few of you. Some will get a private tour of the entire office from us. There's a hangar in the back. So you come up here. Jeez. Imagine there's going to be a couple major tents, 40 feet by 100 feet, where some of the people that are buying general tickets will be there. But over here inside the hangar is where the podcast will be held. This entire thing will be open like it is right now. Inside of it, myself, the PBD podcast crew, yeah. some of the super VIPs will be invited to go upstairs in a section that we have that's got a bar, a restaurant, food, you know, kitchen. You're eating, you're watching it from all the way up there while we're doing the podcast down here in the hangar. So imagine in this room, there's a thousand people, right? While we're going through this whole thing, conversation, it's gonna be from 6 p.m. is when it starts. All the way up to two o'clock in the morning, who knows? Maybe we go three, four o'clock in the morning because a lot of things that's gonna be going on. And by the way, do you know why we're not cutting this? We're on an airport. <laughs> These are planes, we have to hear because right here is the mm -hmm. airport. And FYI, messy place right there at that stadium right behind us. So you got 48 hours before I announce this publicly. There's five tickets here that you can purchase. Each one's got more things to offer. But even locally, there's general tickets to buy for just $75. Bring your uh, wife, bring your husband, bring your family, bring your friends. There's one caveat after you buy the ticket. When you buy the ticket and you come on November 5th, you have to wear Future Looks Bright gear. I'm talking Future Looks Bright hat, a shirt, doesn't matter. You're gonna have to show I got some kind of Future Looks Bright gear because we want everybody here 
to spread the message and the energy of optimism around the world, back to their states, wherever you're going to be. So November 5th, click on the link above or below, get registered. And if you're watching the saying, well, Pat, I like to travel private. Can I bring my private jet here? Five of you guys will be <laughs> after you buy your ticket. Then you can ask us. And that's only available to the tickets at the highest level possible to bring your jet and park it here. So having Tom's said jet. that, get your tickets. And I cannot wait to see you November 5th, 6 p.m. at our new headquarters in Fort Lauderdale. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye, bye-bye. It's going to be freaking awesome. It's going to be it's gonna I'm be going. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going. And by the way, I, I wish I could say all the guests that are going to be there. I don't want to say it because part of it is also suspense. Surprise, mm. but there's going to be people. You're going to be, be like, what are you doing here? Yeah. Oh my God, look at this. Let me kind of take a picture with it. It's going to be wild. Bring your family, bring your friends. We're going to have a good time. Anyway, so uh, we are what, 25 days away from that day? I cannot wait. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.